Yeah, hi, I'm Kate. Um, I'm going to take judging today and just want to say straight away, um, I'm not one of those people who's like insane flexible. Um, so don't expect me to get my leg and anything like this. And I actually think that that kind of is useful because if you're teaching stretching and you're already super, super flexy, I think you maybe don't 100% understand how it feels for normal people. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, um, well, that's my excuse anyway. Uh, yeah, it's definitely something I've been working on a lot. And um, especially in this isolation time, I've been really trying to improve on flexibility. So hopefully um, I can give you some, you know, nice class. And um, I'm going to be focusing on uh, our front split. So our kind of normal ones like this. Um, and then also, um, hopefully we should get time to do like the middle ones as well. So yeah, if you have like a bunch of cushions is great. We have some kind of strap or tie or some, um, towel, something like that. And then what else? Oh yeah, like um, like a yoga block or um, books or something. I have, um, <laughs> I've got my friend's um, box set DVD to you. So something like that as well. Um, yeah, okay, so let's get going. Firstly, very important, we have to warm up. So I'm gonna put on a really fun song and we're gonna jump around and go crazy. So yes. Um, let me turn it up a little bit. So yeah, just follow along and join me. And off we go. I hope you like 70s music. Okay, so standing up. I've got my cool little microphone thing, so hopefully you can hear me too. Okay, so we're gonna start with our jump. Off we go. So if you try and stretch, especially kind of not so much gentle stretches, but if you're doing your extreme kind of stretches like splits and your cold, that's where you're likely to get injured. You don't want that, so we're going to get nice and warm. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to break my ankle on the wall. Awesome. And we're going to switch it around to some high knees here. And we're going to kick our buttons. And put back to high knees. And kick your bum. And high knees. And kick your bum. Now the next thing we're going to do is burpee or a burpee variation. So if you can do, if you're able, you can do the full one where you jump out. Or if you can step it back and do some walk it, okay? So we're going to do five. Off we go. One. Chest touches the floor. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Or if you're the beat, maybe we've done ten. Nice. And we're going to do 50 jobs. And you're very lucky you get to hear me being really out of breath. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to our side job. Nice. And I Kick it up. I Kick it up. Okay, five bar keys or your version. They can step it out. And you don't even have to touch your chest the ground, you can just do one like this. Some people ask me, what are you gonna be? Why don't you go get a job? Try and get five. And we do it then. Let me jump. Hopefully your heart rate's going up there. And we've got side up from around. And hiding. Take your bum. Hiding. Take your bum. 
Oh, one more time, honey. And take your breath. Okay, last five verses. Enjoy it. Let's go. Let's go the other side. Try and catch. Whew. Awesome. Nice work, guys. Oh, I see two people doing it together. That's so fun. Oh. Okay, and we're going to do our hip circle. If you have a beautiful pole in the middle of your house, you can hold on to it or a wall. Otherwise, you're lucky you get to balance. And other way. Awesome. And top side. Open. And off the way. Close. Nice guys. Good work. Okay. And hold on to a wall or something. Or not. We're just going to swing our legs. So start with the bent leg. Not too high. Just loosening up. If you did body and beautiful ballet class before, you might be a bit more flexy in your hamstrings. As you keep going, you might be able to straighten the legs. You might be able to kick a bit higher. So you listen to your body, don't get injured. Okay, let's swap it over. Other side. Start small. Just because you do something on one side doesn't mean you need to match it. You can strain the leg if you're feeling a bit more flexy today. Or you did a workout already. Alright. Nice. And we're going to do a lunge to the front. I'll show you this way. We're going to lunge and back. And keep swapping sides. So just opening out in the hips. Quite a big run, lunge like a yoga one. So this isn't how I do my normal fitness lunges. This is more like a yoga-y one. And you can take the arms, you can stretch them open. Nice. No. One more. Or even up on both sides even. Nice. Okay, what else have I got? Okay, we're going to come down to the mat now. I'm just going to turn the music down a little bit. It's quite low. You can turn it up if you want to, though. It's okay. Okay. So, we're down on our mat. Hopefully, you're at least a little bit sweaty. And here, we're going to do the classic pat and cow. So, my first one, I inhale... As I pull my belly up to my spine, I'm pushing through my hands, my knees, and the top of my feet, and I round my back. Then as I exhale, I reverse. I drop my belly, I look up, and I arch. And you can have a little wiggle side to side if you want as well. And again, round, inhale, and arch, exhale. And... And just keep going with your own breath. So listen to your body for all of this stuff. Listen to your body. If it says, no, I don't want to do it, listen to it. <laughs> do something else. 
This should feel really nice on your back. Just get a few more. If you do one thing, like one little tiny exercise every day, I really recommend doing this. It's so good for your spine. Good, okay then, you can either keep going with that or you can think about going a bit more round in a circle now. Round in a circle. Doesn't matter what it looks like, just about how it feels. You can even take your head and circle your head as well, same way, opposite way. It should feel really nice. Take some deep breaths. And let's reverse. Whoa, what does that even mean? <laughs> Keep breathing. If you're getting dizzy, don't worry. Take it slow. Awesome. Okay, fantastic. Stop there. All right, if you have a drink of water handy, have a super quick drink of water. Very important to stay hydrated. Hopefully you're nice and sweaty like I am. I need sweater though. Be fair. All right, gonna take it down a notch in the music here. Okay, so big drink of water. And I'm gonna show you a little sequence I do that I learned actually from pole dancing um, for the hamstring. So if you have tight hamstrings, this is a really nice way to stretch them without it being really, you know, when you sit there and you just go, oh, I hate this. Yeah, it's not as painful, it's not as uncomfortable. So. Standing on one end of your mat, take your arms up, stretch them as much as you can. Think about using your core lifting up and then bending down your back. So I'm stretching my arms and I'm rocking forward and back on my toes and then onto my heels. So I'm doing a rock here. Yeah. And as you're doing that rock, you might feel it a little bit in your calves, stretching or maybe even your hamstrings if they're very tight. And now my hips rock forward and back as well. I'm really pulling my arms up. My shoulders get a bit of a stretch too. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Okay, then we're going to release the hands. We're going to come forward. Very important here, you're not allowed to bend your knees at all. Even if you're up here, that's fine. You're just not allowed to bend your knees. So I come as low as I can. And I'm going to give my legs a little, a little rub. So maybe it's my shins. And I'm just rubbing up and down gently, or maybe it's my quads, or maybe it's my feet if I'm super flexy ready. Keep going with that one. So you've got to look at your knees. I know we don't often say that, but we do want to look at our knees for this one. And you're ready to feel a gentle kind of stretch in your hamstring. And um, your body can do a very, not an 80s bounce, we don't want an 80s bounce, but it can do a gentle if there's a natural bounce, that's okay. All right, now we're gonna reach for the floor and we're gonna rock forward and back just like we did standing, but we're going toes and heels and our fingertips are reaching for the floor. My legs are still locked out here. And if you can't reach the floor, it's okay. You can still do this up here, wherever you are. So you just do your best version of it. Keep breathing. And again, depending on where you're tight, maybe you feel your hamstrings, maybe you feel in your calves, maybe in your ankles. Okay, stop there. And we're gonna grab opposite elbows. We're gonna relax our full weight over. I'm still looking at my legs. No bends. And you can shake your head, no. And you can nod your head, yes. Good. We just hold it there, we try and relax. And then release the hands, softly bend the knees as we roll up through the spine. Ooh. And we look at our nice red faces. <laughs> Fantastic, okay, so that's one round. We're gonna do three in total, so let's lift up. Stretch the arms up, reach them over your head. This is round two, we're rocking forward and back. I hope at least some of you are as sweaty as I am. It is a bit hot in this room, I have to say, but like Bikram stretch. Rocking forwards and back. I'm still using my core. I'm not just crunching in my spine. I'm still really aware of my core working. 
Beautiful. And let's release the hands. Soft, gentle rub on the shins. Soft, gentle rub on the shins, or maybe even reach down to the cars and give them a bit of a squeeze as well, you know? Two things at once. Fantastic. And then we reach down, and again, we rock forwards and backwards from our toes to our heels. Keep breathing. And if you're starting to feel okay, you can make the rocks quite big, especially the back rock. That's the one that's really going to stretch um, the hamstrings. And then grabbing opposite elbows, folding forwards and gently shaking the head no. And nodding the head yes. And you might notice maybe you're a tiny bit closer, your head to your knees. And then release the hands, bend the knees, roll up through the spine. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Great. Okay, we've got one more round. Stretching up. Ah, you know, I usually do a little hamstring test before I do this and I forgot. So you just have to keep in mind what your usual hamstring flexibility is and see if it's made a difference to you or not. I'm still locking up my legs. Keep breathing. Great, lifting up to the core, to the front. And let's go forwards. Gentle massage for the legs, maybe the ankles, maybe the feet. Oops, <laughs> try not to fall over. And again, rocking forward and back. Facing the floor, facing down even. And then just holding opposite elbows and gently shaking the head no. This is your last time of this one, so really get deep into it. And nod the head yes. And hold it for three, two, one, release the arms, roll up, bend these, roll up through the spine. Oh, okay, let's test. Let's sit down. Hopefully on a nice squashy mat. Take the legs down in front of you. Firstly, try not to, for anyone whose back tends to go like this. I feel, yeah, it happens. But try and stretch up, lift up, strong through the core, straight to the back. Lift your arms up, flex the feet, and see where you're at. Without, you know, you're not pulling, you're not trying to round in the back. I'm just keeping my chest up. So hopefully in here, you either go, wow. You know, for me, I'm usually maybe just touching my toes and now my fingers are definitely past them. Or maybe you're going, you know what? This isn't as painful as normal. So you're welcome, everyone. <laughs> okay, so let's just stay there for a little moment. <sighs> Hello, hamstrings. Why are you so, why are you so tight? Right, okay, and let's roll it back. Okay, so I have a few more of things like this here, little sequences I call them. So we're gonna come into a downward dog position, like a triangle, I'll show you in a minute, I'll just explain it first. Then I'm gonna walk my feet forward. I'm gonna go heel and toe, heel then toe, heel then toe, heel then toe, all the way forward. When I get to the front, I'm gonna just step it back and I'm gonna repeat. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm here on my downward dog, then I go heel and toes. And it's not, you know, it's not gonna be completely like my hands doing it. It's just the best I can. Heel and toe, I can start to bend my knees if I want, if I get to the top. And then I bend and I step back into a down dog and I just repeat, okay? So we'll do it a few times and feel that lengthening through the back of your neck. Okay, off we go. So just in your own time, just really try and, you know, do your best to get your heels and then your toes. And then when you're finished, go back into a plank and then down a dog. Keep breathing.
And then also, if you're tightening the shoulders here, as you step back into your downward dog, you might feel a nice stretch through your shoulders. Good work, guys. Okay, let's just do one more wherever you're at. Let's just do one more if I finish the one you're on. Good. And then we're going to step back into down dog one more time. And I'm going to do some gentle leg kicks. So I don't need to worry about keeping my hip completely down. I can open it up to the side like this. So I'm just going to go down and lift. Down and lift. Strength through my upper body. Working on the mobility through my hips and stretching through my hamstrings and my calves. Good. And swap sides. Up and down. Oh, there you go. I had a nice crack. <laughs> Up and down. If you need to come down at any point, have a little rest. That is okay as well. One more. If you can, keep going. Swap back to the first side, lift the leg, and we're going to kick our heel to our bum. Kick. Kick. Keep going. I know you're upside down for a while here. And swap legs one more time on the other side. And kick. Kick. Strong upper body, strong core. Kick. And then back to downward dog. Very gently take your knees down to the mat and have a stretch back in child pose. Uh, honestly, I'm just I'm just like a pool. I'm a pool of sweat right now. Okay. Stretching back. Little child pose, little rest. You can do a wiggle side to side here. Hmm. Here's our nice relax. And let's take a few deep breaths here. If you can, try and think about making your breath a little bit more audible than usual. You know, if you've done any yoga before, you can think like a fire breath or a dragon breath, or the ocean breath. Okay, and from here, we're just going to Slowly walk the hands in and roll up so we're stacking our vertebra one on top of the other and your head is the last thing to come up okay again if you're thirsty you grab a drink of water now let me just dry myself a little bit okay Whoa. all right oh. oh hey guys i'm in my own little cave there Okay, so our next one we're going to do, there's a few options, and if you're very tight through your hips, if you're struggling with it, you can always get some cushions and stack them under to sit on them. So you'll understand what I mean in a minute. We're going to do an Asian squat position. So I'm going to take my feet just outside my hips, and I'm going to gently come down like this. So I'm squatting. I'll show you on the side as well, like this. So I don't want to be completely collapsed here in my chest. I want to lift and stretch through my back, so my back's long, and I'm using my elbows to push out. So, as I said, if you're struggling, you can put some cushions under your bum and sit. If you're like a little bit off there, because I know some people I can't see their cameras, you can come up and you're higher like this, that's fine. Just note that if you are here, your legs are working harder. <laughs> so, um, take a few more rests than the rest of us. Okay, cool. So, we're here. Asian squat. And we're going to put our hands down in front of us and we're just going to do some swings backward and forward. So I'm going to drop my head, take my bum up. And then I drop my bum down and I lift my chest. And I repeat. Drop my head, lift my bum. Drop my bum, lift my head. <laughs> just like that. I'll just show you on the side in case you're a bit confused. So I drop my head, lift my bum. And I drop my bum, I lift my head. <laughs> just like a froggy. Now if you're like, gosh. This is a little bit sore on my legs. Yes, it's like doing a squat. It's just that you're stretching it too. So if your legs are feeling a little bit of work, don't panic. It's good for you. Keep breathing.
Nice, okay, and on our last one, we're gonna come back here. And if you need to have a break and come out of this, that's okay. Otherwise, just let's go over those little things again. We're really trying to stretch out, so lift your head up, really elongate your spine. Use your elbows to open your knees as much as you can. You can do this kind of prayer type position to help you. So I'm really trying to lift up my spine as much as I can, but I'm relaxed in my hips. Then from there, you're gonna put one hand to the middle, the opposite hand's gonna stretch and twist. So you can look up at the ceiling or the sky if you're outside, and then swap, twist. And this is gonna be different for everyone. You might be here, that is okay. You might be, oh, your head might be, oh, sorry, your arm might be on the floor behind you, that's okay. Just do, you do you. If you need to have a break, if your hips are screaming or anything, have a break. Keep breathing. Awesome. Nice work. You might be able to go a little bit further each time. And then even up on both sides. And we're slowly with control. Maybe you do your core, your glutes. You're going to try and come up. Oh, hello. Hello, legs. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, one more kind of little thing like this, and then I promise we'll do some more holding stretches. So we're going to come into a lunge, which have a leg forward. And I'm going to place my hands either side of my foot. I could be on my forehand or on my fingertips. And then from there, I'm just going to go a few times with control again. I'm not, you know, throwing my body in these positions. I'm using my core. I'm controlling it. I'm going to push back into a triangle position here. So I've got two straight legs and my head has dropped down. And then I come back into my lunge. And I keep going between those two. Not too fast, but just still having a move. And you can take your hair off as well, if that feels good, in the front foot there as you stretch back. So all of these, really important to move with control. Good. And then next time you're in the triangle, have both feet down, so no heels popping up. Um, oh no, toes popping up, sorry. And then we're just going to walk it through the middle, rotate your feet, and all the way to the other side. Aha! That's so clever, Kate. Well done. Okay, and we're going to do the other side. So we come into our lunge, and up into, I call it the triangle. I'm sure it's called something in yoga, but I don't know the name. So you can either lift the toes or not. Whatever feels good for you. Slow and control. The slow and controlled movement. Keep breathing. Awesome. Okay, and on the next one, when you're in the triangle, again, switch around back so you're in the middle, move your feet. And we're going to bend the knees generously to roll up through the spine. So we come to standing. Awesome. Okay, so here, this is where I'm going to grab a cushion. And this is really actually just for my knee, because we're going to stretch our hip flexors. And I have to say, my floor here, I've got two yoga mats, but my floor is really, really hard. So I'm going to grab this um, cushion, and I'm going to move my camera down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so if you want something to protect your knee, I recommend it. If you don't have anything, you can always roll your mat over a few times, use a towel. Okay, so we're here, and we're going to stretch out the hip flexors. First thing, I'm going to just do 90 degrees in the front leg, 90 degrees in the back. And rather than sticking my bum out like this, I'm going to tuck my pelvis under. So I do my flat bum. Flat bum here. Think about lifting up through the core. Tuck your pelvis, squeeze your glutes a lot. Really squeezing. You should already feel that a little bit through the, maybe the quad if you're tight, or the hip flexor. And then to increase the stretch, I use the same arm as the back leg, 
up and across. I've got a lovely wall to hold on to here to help me, but you can always just rest your front arm on your leg. So stretching up and across. Really keep squeezing your glutes. If I just let my glutes go, and ugh, I'm not going to feel it. So tuck, squeeze, core, and then reach. There'll be a new dance craze soon. The old hip flexor stretch. Good, and hold, keep breathing, three, two, one, and we come back up. Okay, now I'm going to walk my foot forward and I'm going to come, if I feel comfortable, into my deeper lunge like this. So for this, I really, I don't want my knee to go past my toe. Um, I want it roughly in line, or actually in line. Then again, I'm squeezing my glutes here, and I'm trying not to let my back arch too much because it's, it's going to hurt here. So I lift up through the core, legs in through the back, and I'm not going to put my hands down here yet. I'm just going to stay up and either I'm going to press on my glutes or I'm going to reach my fingertips like this. So you can choose. I'm really trying to push my hip flexors down, my hips down, sorry. Breathing. Right. Then we're going to add a little twist if you feel okay. Same arm as the front leg goes on the knee. And same arm as the back leg reaches behind and maybe on your hamstring, maybe on your calf, wherever feels okay for a little twist. Try not to go right on your knee. Good. And I'm really pushing into the floor. My front foot is pushing. My knee is pushing even though it's on the cushion. My top of my back foot. Right. Okay, come back. We'll swap it around, so opposite hand and opposite legs. And twisting. Wow, don't fall over. <laughs> Keep breathing. And come out of it. Great, okay. Let's put our hands down on the inside of our leg. Walk your leg out to the outside of your mat. And then you can turn your knee open as well. So you've really got a lot of space here for your body. And I don't want to round in my back here and lift my hips. Push your hips down, lift your chest. So, again, I don't know the proper yoga names of any of this stuff, sorry. But I call this one the dragon, because I feel like a dragon when I do it. I'm really lifted in my chest and I'm really pushing down on my hips. If this feels okay, you can come to your elbows. And again, I'm trying to keep my back as flat as possible. Keep breathing. And you can think about that fire breath again, if that helps. Fantastic. Okay, we can come back up to our hands and we can walk our foot back in. And we're gonna basically just come out of this stretch and we're gonna swap to the other side. So as you go through the middle, maybe notice, wow, this side feels great. This side feels terrible. <laughs> okay, so other knee on your other, on your cushion. You got one? Wait, I just did that leg. Did I? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, try not to do the same leg twice. That's not a good idea. So first one, 90 degrees in the front and the back. Tuck your pelvis. Squeeze your glutes. Lift up through the core. Drop through the back. And then... Increase the stretch, same arm as the back leg, reaches up and across. So it's an interesting one, really. Here you go, I'm going to talk to you now. Um, because as you're doing your stretches, obviously, you want to be able to release some parts, but also you need the stability in other areas to achieve the stretch. Because if you let your body just flop, it doesn't work. You need those anchor points. Keep breathing. Should feel really good in the hip flexor. Or maybe not really nice, but should feel it in the hip flexor. Great. Okay, let's come out of that one. And we're going to walk this front foot forward and come into our deeper lunge. Adjust your knee as you need to. So you're not sore. 
good. Okay, and then pushing into the floor with our foot, our knee, the top of our foot, and lifting up, dropping back. Either pushing on the hips or reaching with the fingertips. You can do a lovely um, reach up if you want to. I'm just going to keep it simple. Keep breathing and try and so you've got these strength points working. You're also really relaxing in your hip flexors. Use your breath, it's there to help you. Okay, let's do our twist. So front arm to the front knee, back arm to reaching back to your leg, somewhere on it, just not right on the knee area. Breathing. Right, let's come back to the middle and we'll swap opposite hand to opposite leg. And you'll find this one, obviously, you won't be able to go quite as far as the first one, probably. That's okay. Right. Okay, let's come out of that one. Take your hands down, we'll do the dragon. They can walk your feet for that to the side. Open up the knee and try and keep your chest lifted. Good. Chest lifted and hips down. And we'll come all the way down to our forehead, a forehead, not our forehead, but our forearms or our elbows on the floor. There you go. Keep breathing. Try and relax. Okay, great. And we're going to come back up to the arms. And you're just going to find a way out of it nice and calmly with your body. Yeah. Great, okay, so hopefully you feel the stretch in your hips. We're gonna move on to um, the glutes. So, since we're doing the splits, we need to work all those muscles around it that are gonna be stretching. So the next one we're gonna do is the glutes. You can have a pillow handy for your head if you want, as an option. Okay, so what we're gonna do, one leg straight out to the front, the other leg is just, it's kind of tucked like this, and I haven't got it right out to the side. I'm not sitting on it, it's just on the side of my bum. Yeah, as best you can. Then I'm gonna walk my hands back. I can be here and I need to squeeze my glutes so I won't feel this. I need to reach my knee down towards the floor. So I'm pushing my knee rather than letting it lift up like this, push it down. So squeeze glutes, knee down. And then you can keep going back. You can go back to your elbows. And then another thing you can do, take the opposite leg, lift it up. And I'm gonna use that to also push into the floor Oh, here we go, I'm gonna get some crap. Uh, push into the floor and increase the stretch. Oh. You can also come back so you're lying flat. This one, what pillow is gonna come in handy? Oh, so comfortable. And here you can see I've got a big arch of my back. So I'm gonna, I'm just working to lengthen that and flatten it. Um, and that's a big work on. So with this one, I don't want to flatten it and then bring my knee up. I'm going to leave my knee down and work to flatten the back. So you should feel a nice stretch through this quadriceps here. And if, if, if you've forgotten about your bum, think about squeezing it again. Because if you don't squeeze your bum, you, you definitely don't feel the stretch as much. And breathing, if you want a little shoulder one, you um, Depending on if you're tight, you can always take your arms over your head for potentially a shoulder stretch. Great. Ah, it's like you're lying on the beach. Okay, then the tricky bit coming out of it. I like to come out of it the way I came in, although you can also do like a roll to the side. 
So I'm going to come back up to my elbows, using my core, and back up to my arms, extending the leg. And I'm going to swap sides. So this one goes long, and other leg bends in. And it's just as close to my bum as I can while my both bum cheeks are still on the floor here. Then we're going back, arms straight again. Remember, squeeze your glutes, lengthen that knee towards the floor, and you can come back to your elbows. You can lift that opposite leg and push into the floor for an extra kind of extra push. And you can come back lying down if you want to. Oh, my mat's wet from sweat. Then I'm working, oh, let's get cramped in that side. I'm working to lengthen the back down to the floor. So I want to reduce this um, hole as much as possible. Push the knee down, squeeze the glutes. And then if you want to, it's not really a shoulder stretch unless you're really, really tight, but. Good. Keep breathing. Great work, guys. Keep squeezing the right muscles and relaxing the other muscles. Great, and we're gonna come back out of that the way we came into it. So my core's working, uh, and release the leg. Okay, so we've done quads, we've done hip flexors. We're gonna do our glutes, and we've done a half thing as well. We're gonna do our glutes, and this is the point where if you do have a band that could be a good, or a towel or something, it's a good time to grab it. So I'm gonna come into my version of the pigeon pose, which I want both of my hips, so I've got this leg bent. Mine, um, ideally you want to have it 90 degrees, but my one, it doesn't happen. I can't let my hips go down. So I break, bring that in as much as I need to, and I have two hip flexors, two hip joints, so facing down. You don't want to be sitting off to the side like this. You won't feel the stretch. So your version of pigeon, so have your knee face down, your quad face down here. It's like you're in a half split already. Good. Then, if you feel okay there, either you can stay there, you can come down to your elbows, or you can come down so you're fully lying on the floor here and resting your forehead down as well. Just check in with yourself that you're, you do have both of your hips facing the ground rather than rolling out. So you want two hips facing the ground, you want your quad touching the ground if you can. You want your knee and your like shin facing the ground, the top of your foot. Great. Then you can stay there or for a, if you want a bit of a challenge, come back up to your elbows and grab your band. Loop it around your foot to the back. Ugh, this is always, to be honest, that's one of the hardest things of the whole stretch class, getting around your foot. Yeah, or your towel or whatever. And we're gonna go for the king pigeon. So I'm gonna pull it over best I can. And then I'm gonna kick away. So I'm gonna kick my foot, see how my foot's moving away from my body. That's what we want. So this is the resistance. Or if you need your hand, it's fine. And then I'm kicking away. So we kick, ready, go. Three, two, one. And as I release, I bring my foot in closer to me. Good. And I go again, and I might be able to touch this to the ground now. And I kick three, two, one, and release. And my leg comes closer. And move your band and adjust, or your hand. And last one, we go three, kick, 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 two, hard as you can, one, and release. And if you do have a band, you can work your this is all optional, of course. And um, you can work your way up and try and touch your toes. So that's gonna be your shoulder flexibility too, which we haven't really worked on today. And hold. And release. Ah, great. Okay, let's do the other side. I'm gonna turn around, but you can stay the same way. 
I feel like I've broken myself when I'm moving to the other side. <laughs> okay, so your pigeon pose, so move your leg as much as you need to. And two hips facing the ground. Good, so start, I like to start up and just have a little wiggle adjust. So you can see I wore these pants, you can see I've got this line here. If my line's all wiggly, that's not good. You want it to be straight. Unless of course my pants are just twisted in which that doesn't work at all. All right, so we're here and you can come down to your elbows. And then if that feels okay, you can come down so you're lying on your leg or your belly's on the mat or the floor. Keep breathing. And then each time you exhale, try and release a little bit more. Awesome. Okay, let's walk it back up. Or if you want to stay there instead of doing the other stretch, you can. Otherwise, loop the band around your foot. Oh, I always feel like such a ninja when I manage to get that. And then we're going to do our little resistance one. So pull your band into where you can feel stretch, but it's not super extreme. And then we're going to kick off it away. So we go three, kick, two, hard you can, one, and release. Pull it in. Again, to where you feel the stretch, but it's not super extreme. And we go again. Ready? Kick. Try and keep your hips facing the front. Three, two, one. Oh, and release. Pull your band in. These, lo these long ones are good because at some point you can get them to the floor and it feels a little less uncomfortable. And last time we kick. Three, as hard as you can. Two, harder, harder, harder. One, and release. Oh. Good, so that's another intense quad stretch. And you can walk it up and you can do your reach over for your foot. And hold. Maybe this time next year, when we come and do this again, we'll be able to reach our feet for anyone who can't. We'll be like, yeah, easy. <laughs> Okay, and gently release. <sighs> okay, fantastic. So guys, very exciting. We're going to do the splits. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so um what you need if you are if you can already do your splits, I really recommend you working on over splits. If you can do them already really easily, um you can always put a foot a, a block, sorry, or books or whatever under your foot to do them. Um I'm just gonna do the basic one. Well not basic, but the simpler one. So I've got my lovely friends box set here, not sponsored, just uh, really like friends. And I've got a bunch of books here. So these are my two little, um, uh, like my yoga blocks. If you do have yoga blocks or anything else, cushions, you can use those too. And when they're gonna hold me up here. Okay, so I'll show you quickly what I'm gonna do and then we'll do it. So I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna stretch one foot forward, one foot back into this lunge, then, because I want my body to be up. So if I come down here, I'm not going to be working my splits as well. So I've got my little places to balance. I'm going to stretch. So both of my legs are straight and my hips come nice and high. And then we're going to squeeze, just like we did on that king pigeon pose just now. And then we're going to release. And again, we're going to squeeze and release. And we're going to keep going. Okay? Oh dear, I think we're going to break these books. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some cushions instead. Okay, so, yes, you can... Um, Build your little stacks up as much or as little as you need. So you just want your body to be right over your legs rather than forward like that. If you um, don't have anything, you can do forward as well. So come up to where it feels okay. You're in a bit of a lunge. And after three, we're gonna straighten both legs. Ready and go. So straight, so you can lift your hips and we're squeezing our legs. I'm engaging all those muscles, holding three, two, one, and then I'm going to release. I'm going to slide down just a little bit to where it feels. Okay. Then again, I'm going to squeeze. 
three, two, one, and release. Maybe come down a little further. And last one, we squeeze. Three, kick your legs. Two, one, and release. So here is your kind of maximum where you feel you can slip today. I'm just gonna kick this one away so you can see. So this is my better side. Now, if you're here and you're like, oh, it's okay, but I feel a bit like, oh, I need a bit more support. This is where you grab your block or your cushion. I should put this closer. And you can just wedge it underneath your front leg like this. And you can wedge a few. So you are doing the split, but you just got a little bit of support here, okay? So it's an option. And that way you can take your hands off the floor. Now, you don't want to be having your hip open too much like this. I really ideally want to be squaring my hips. So I'm going to keep working on pulling this hip forward. Forward and knee facing down. So just do your best. If you need to be lifting up still off the floor, that's fine. Holding, if you want to take your arms up, you can. And if you have a yoga block and you want to release it, oh. A lot of ugh noises. <laughs> and come to your best foot. Try and relax. Good. And then gently bend the back leg. Apologize to your muscles. Yeah, we're going to do the other side. Yikes. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I feel like an 80 year old person when I come out of the split. I'm like, oh, what have I done? Okay, cool. Let's do the other side. So I'm going to turn around. You don't have to turn around though. Get your props out, however much or little you need. So, again, if your arm more flexible, if you've got a flat split already, you can always do an over split where you put your foot on the block at the end. Okay, so find your. Wait, I did that leg. <laughs> Uh, sneaky. Okay, so find your kind of lunge here where you've got the support. And we're going to lift. Lift and squeeze our legs. So straightening them both out. You can lift as high as you need to. And I'm kicking. I'm kicking my legs. I'm squeezing the quads, everything. Three, two, one. And relax. Slide down a little bit more. And you might. You can drop your knee for a second at the back or anything, you just need to. And we'll go again. Ready? Kick, kick, kick. Three. Two. Kick harder. Ooh. One. And relax. Slide down a little bit more. Adjust anything you need to. Re. Um, oh, get me forward. Okay. And one more time. Let's go. Kick, 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 kick. Try and get those hips in line. So you're not opening up. Three, hard as you can. Two, one, and release. And come into your best split. Again, um, on this side, I'm not as flexible. I'm going to get a slightly higher something to put under my hamstring, just so I can try and square off my hips. And you can see my back leg's a bit bent. It's all work on, guys. It's all work on. You just do your best. Try and keep pulling that back hip forward. If you want to, take your arms up. Try and relax into it, but also it's like an active relax, you know? Holding. If you're on over split, you can also do crazy things like bending up your back leg now. I'm just going to keep it simple, as I said. Keep trying to square the hips. Three, two, one, and let's gently release, bend the back knee, come out of it however you can, safely and comfortably, ah, and apologize to your legs again. You can see I've got all bits of crazy stuff around my apartment now. Okay, let's bring our legs into a lovely butterfly position. Uh, our grandma hips and grandpa hips. Okay, just give a very gentle bounce here. 
Now, if you are a little bit sore, um, just be mindful of it. Drink lots of water after stretching is always really great. Um, yeah, if you're a little bit sore, it might just be because you worked it, those areas. But if you have like sharp pain, and I'm very sorry, <laughs> um, that's not good. Okay, and just to finish off, we're gonna do a little straddle. So we're gonna take our legs wide. And here, if you, I'll just stay on the side. I used to, when I was doing my dance training in the UK, I used to have this kind of the round back thing happening. If you do have that, you need a yoga block or a cushion to sit on so that your hips can drop and you can sit straight. Yeah, and I promise you, if you do do that, you'll be able to straighten up your back. Okay, so straddling, legs as wide as you can, while sitting up straight. And we're just gonna do some very gentle circles here. So it is a little stretch, but it's just for kind of cool down as well. Gentle circles, you can have your hands in front or even behind. Nice work, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's really special. It's really much more fun to do this with other people. Otherwise, I feel like such a loser. And let's go the other way. Circles the other way. Awesome. And we can reach our hands out towards our toes. And you can just really relax your legs. You don't need to flex or point or anything. Just relax. And we're going to reach kind of side to side. Keeping two sides long here. So I'm not crunching over. And again, you're stretching, but you're relaxing. Looks cool in the video. <laughs> Keep breathing. <sighs> Great. Okay, and just coming back to the middle, we're gonna take it over on a side stretch here. And coming back up. Same side, this time we're going to twist the torso so our chest faces our leg. And coming up, let's do the other side. So side on first, big reach over. And you really have to um, anchor that opposite hip. If you let that hip come off, you're just not going to feel the stretch. It's not about being able to reach your foot. Great, and coming up, let's take our chest to face our leg and coming over again, keeping the opposite hip, hip anchored down. And relaxing over. Awesome. Coming back up, we're gonna go through the middle, which is, some people love it, some people hate it. I like to really focus on keeping my chest long and just walking bit by bit. Again, if you're not so flexible here, you can always put some cushions under your, either your belly or for your head, and then you relax like this onto them or whatever. Or you can just reach out like that. I'll just go to where it feels okay for you, still trying to keep the chest long. So you're more pancakey and you're not doing this. Because when you do that, you just really, you know, get in the back. Oh, keep breathing. Can do a little wiggle side to side if it feels okay. Yeah. Let's not lie, some of us have fallen asleep like this before, haven't we? After a show, when you're really tired, <laughs> you're trying to have a stretch and you just put a cushion there and you fall asleep. And then two hours later, <laughs> you need a bulldozer to help you move. Okay, and walking it back up and back in. And then we're gently, maybe with the help of your hands, we're going to shake the legs, we're going to bring them together. Oh, amazing. Okay, I'm going to slowly come towards you guys and turn off the music. We can talk. Thanks so much for joining me and us. And it was really nice. If you like this video, you can support us on Patreon. For as low as $1 a month, you can help us keep creating awesome tutorial videos and projects. Check out the link in the video description below. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kate Garrett and I'm a dancer in Bonnie Curtis Projects. Who is Bonnie Curtis Projects anyway? 
We are an independent dance company based in Sydney. We have beautiful dancers, beautiful ideas that we want to create. And we create genre defying works on stage, online. Sometimes we get to tour when there's no COVID. To find out more about us, please visit our website and follow us on social media. All the links are down below. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to our next tutorial.